Um, I think for the first time ever, there's a move away from being a search centric society due to generative AI, right? Uh, for example, back to our cookie recipe. So if you want cookies for, uh, for Halloween, you're going to go on Google, you're going to Google cookie recipes. You're going to make, find a lot of recipe websites that have tons of ads and pop-ups and are very hard to navigate. You're going to wind up getting malware in your computer. You're going to click something wrong and wind up with a virus and have to re reformat your computer. The, the experience has gotten worse on the search side. And then with generative AI, you ask generative AI for, for a cookie recipe and it'll give you a cookie recipe and read it off to you line by line, right? Um, so for the first time ever, I think there's uh, a move away from being search centric. Um, there's a lot of implications, of course, where is generative AI getting the cookie recipe from, right? It's still getting it from websites, right? It's someone, it doesn't create its own content. Like AI has not developed a taste for Halloween cookies to, uh, to create its own recipe. So it's still getting content from the internet, but there's, there's uh, for the first time ever, uh, a small shift away being search centric.